close. Quick game. Let's shut down Steam. Exit. Okay, then back over here. Back to me. Okay, so. Okay, that's. A, is it worth the effort? I mean, if you do need. If you do need some extra frames, possibly. I don't know. A lot of people rave on about it. I mean, there's just two games you've tested today. You've got a tiny improvement on uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Five frames per second improvement on Tomb Raider, which is interesting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what the originally, I didn't write the script to change the, um, to change the kernel. I wrote the script to give you a, a really cool games launcher and, um, you know, um, a way to, to sort of optimize it without having to do the kernel. So let's see what we're going to do now is run both of those tests again. And I think they'll run differently because of inside the game scope world, there's certain things Tomb Raider will ask me for different things. I think I can't get the same settings, but I'll try and do it as close as possible. Okay. So if you watch the previous video I made about this, when I made the game schedule, it was all about how long it took to get into Steam. So we've done the kernel bit. Now I'll show you the game scope element and we'll run those two games again. So to get into the launcher, you press Super Shift S and it brings up this, which allows you to set your gaming resolution. Because obviously in GameScope, you can scale. So if you do it 1920 by 1080, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. You can upscale. So it renders at 1080p and upscales at 1440. You can do 1440 and an output of 1440. You could do eight. So I think it makes sense. So what you need to do is select it. 